Right, connecting you to an issue that dominated the week that was. Not impeachment, not Brexit, the climate crisis. An issue that will continue to dominate no matter who is in power. The final of three special climate UN reports hit the spotlight this week, warning that our oceans are close to tipping point. You say you've heard it all before, right? Well, listen, you haven't. For small island nations, the climate crisis is not a threat. It is already here. Louis Young is the chair of the Alliance of Small Island States. And over the summer, she wrote in the Financial Times, and I quote, the time for climate denial and incremental action is long over. This is a crisis that affects our security, and we call on those blocking at the UN to step aside. Well, she joins me now from New York. For new readers, as it were, break down this latest UN IPCC report. What does it mean for small island states? Thank you for having me. Um, the new report actually underscores what the 1918, 2018 uh, IPCC 1.5 degree special report has said which is that if we do not limit global warming to below 1.5 degrees Celsius um, by 2050, we are on a trajectory to go beyond the 2.5 and to burn up the Earth. Um, what it means for small islands is that we will lose our biodiversity. We are, we are already losing it. We will have mm. a sea level rise infusions of the sea into our freshwater supplies, um, coastal degradation, uh, complete loss of All biodiversity. Right. According to the Internal Displacement Monitoring Centre, another centre keeping an eye on uh, stuff, a record 7 million people were displaced in the first half of 2019 due to extreme weather. The UN warns 140 million could be displaced by 2050 because of the climate crisis. People are losing their homes, their livelihoods, access to resources, forcing them to leave. Uh, the, the, uh, the UN's law, refugee law, established in 51, does not include any reference to climate or natural disasters. As your small island states face extinction, what is the status of a climate refugee out of interest? In actual fact, a there is no such status as a climate refugee. And in fact, a couple of years ago, there was a case that came before the jurisdiction of one of the bigger states where someone petitioned the court to be found to be a climate refugee, and that was denied. Mm. Um, it's an actuality. Take, for example, what happened in the Bahamas. Many of the people from Abaco and Grand Bahama actually sure. went to the United States, not as climate refugees, because there's no such status. I would dread to think that we would reach the point where we would have mass migration because of that. Um, but it All is right. a possibility. Yeah, um, it, it, everything is a possibility, isn't it, at this point? Um, it's been a joy having you on. Um, I'm running out of time today, but we'll have you back. Uh, an extraordinarily important story. Uh, do join us again. And